Okay, in this tutorial, I will be showing you about C task symbol. I will just copy that and I will paste it in Google and I'll write stock besides it. And you can see the full name Syntas Corporation and its business service company. If you want to buy the stock right now, you have to pay 238.56 US dollars. And uh, this information on the right is from Wikipedia. You can see founded in 1968. And if it, you can't see it outside uh, this, you can just click in Wikipedia and you can see this box and you can see founded 1929. And um, I just want to go to macro trend which shows me ratios, important ratios. I've left the link in the de uh, detail description. And uh, you just click price ratios and price book ratio and just paste in the symbol and click that and um, then i will just briefly explain you what that is about Just takes time to load. okay so um, I'm just uh, I'll explain you briefly what price book ratio is book value is the real worth of the share and stock price is the market price so I'm looking for price to book ratio if it's less than one that means that the stock is very at discount it's undervalued it's very at discount it's very cheap and if it's one that means the book value is equal to market price and it if the ratio is more than one that means that the stock is expensive the higher the, the, the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now it's 7.91 ratio which means the stock is seven or approximately eight times more expensive to buy right now however in 2009 it was 1.14 times more expensive to buy so people who would buy that time in 2009 february would pay 17 uh, approximately $17 to buy something that was $15 worth and uh, right now it is seven times nearly eight times more expensive so let's go to other ratio I want to show you current ratio current ratio shows if assets are bigger than more than liabilities if the ratio is less than one that means the stock is very risky because the liabilities are more than assets if the stock if the ratio is one that means assets is equal to liabilities but we are looking at ratio of 1.5 or more than that uh, because we want to get a margin of safety we want to make sure that the stock is not risky it's very secure uh, to buy so we're not risking anything so it should be 1.5 or more than that let's see okay so it's uh, right now it's 2.24 so it's very above 1.5 so it's very secure let's look at the previous trends so it's always I can just see that um, it has been fluctuating up and down but it has always been above 1.5 so we have data of nearly from 2005 so it's nearly 14 years and uh, it has always been secure above 1.5 so it's very very secure let's look at debt equity ratio debt equity ratio is um debt equity ratio means that if it's operating mainly on debt or equity the ratio we are looking at is 0.5 or less than that 
for it to have a good margin of safety and um, it's just loading okay so the ratio we are looking at is 0.5 or less than that right now it's 0.8 which is a lot more than 0.5 and uh, let's look at the previous one so i can't find that okay so from 2005 up till 2011 february it has been below 0.5 which means that it is very good it's not risky it has good mar margin of safety it's really good but after May 2011, it has been above 0.5. And since then, up till now, nearly eight years up till now, it has always been above 0.5. Which means that since 2011 May, it has been a very risky stock. It has, it has very little margin of safety or maybe no margin of safety. And it has been a lot risky. It has been very risky stock since then. So since like nearly eight years, recent eight years, it is very risky stock. So let's look at return on equity. Uh, we are looking at return on equity of 8% or more than that for it to have a good margin of safety. So let's have a look. Okay, so we are looking at 8% or more than that. Now, now it's more than 8%, more than 8%, more than 8%. So since, uh, I would say that since 2010 February, just once it has been less than 8%. And before that, so it has, we have data for like from 2005 till now, it has always been above 8%. Just once it has been below 8%, which is okay because, you know, once it happens, but since then, it's always above eight percent which is brilliant now let's look if this form gives us any dividend uh, it does of 0.86 which means it, although the percentage is very less it's even less than one percent but dividend means that the firm is able to pay its, uh, its loan its creditors its bills its costs and everything but still it has money left so it means it's financially doing very good that it has extra money dividend is extra money that it gives to the shareholders that's money left so it has money left and uh, it gives dividends which is very good let's see what the um what the employees has to say about that um i'll i'll have a look at um i'll have a look at indeed and um, i've left the link and you can see there are 68 reviews and uh, it's 3.1 star which is average and 68 reviews and you can just go through it as well and i will just see uh the reviews in glassdoor and um there are eight review no no that's not the one i'm looking at sorry 
just one second i'll just um block syntax okay and i'll just check in glassdoor so it has nearly 2500 reviews and it's 3.5 star which is brilliant for 2500 reviews in glassdoor i will just look again in indeed just once again if i have done the right thing okay so um in indeed there are 3200 reviews which is a lot of reviews and it gives 3.4 stars which is brilliant for these many reviews i guess so uh um now let's see uh what else i have left so i want to show you the key executives of this firm i will go to yahoo finance for that and um, i'll just click on the search and i will just paste it and syntax corporation i'll go to profile and sector is industrials industry is business services full-time employees is forty-one thousand. And uh, there are five executives, only four salaries are shown. The last one salary is not shown, so you need to find out why. Maybe Yahoo Finance haven't covered it, it's saying not applicable, so I need to find out that. But the rest salaries have been shown because the more information we have, the better transparency there is. And uh, I want to see if this firm is a big firm or a small firm. I can see that it's a market cap is in billions, it's 24.93 billion, which is big firm and um, i want to see if it has any patents i will go to justia patents which is a very brilliant um uh, website i'll click syntax i'll search that and i want to see yes syntax corporation so in 2013 they have i'm not interested in inventor because inventor don't have full rights applicant or assignee has the full rights so in 2013 they have that 2012 they have that 2017 2006 no not that one that's a different one um so you know but the point is uh in 2014 so i need to look 2016 that's brilliant that's a recent one so i need to look if they have recent one as well because that's very important that are they still innovating 2015 that's brilliant 2016 no that's not the one so you need to be careful about that so um Modes are uh, patents are very important because it gives competitive edge and it shows that the company is innovating constantly to um, thrive in a competitive um, industry and uh, which is brilliant it's a positive sign and um, 